Yo, it's Yuji. Welcome back to Closet Talk. Shalom. It has been a while, but I'm not dead yet, so that's a good thing. But today's topic is Pantheon. So, I'm sure as hell that none of you guys have ever heard of this show because it's been locked away behind AMC+. And first off, no one has an AMC Plus account, so of course no one knows about this show. But luckily my roommate knew about it somehow, and he was like, hey, you want to watch this? And I kid you not, this is the greatest show I've ever seen. Like, great, It is the best cartoon series I've ever seen in my life. So, first beginning of the video, I'm just going to talk about like the synopsis, things I really liked about it. That way I don't get into spoiler territory. But then later on, I'm going to spoil like go into spoilers because like, oh my god, there's so much in my brain I need to get out for. Like the thing is, last night, I finished this last night by the way, and I could not sleep. And then I ended up waking late to work, and I did not go to work because I slept through my alarm. So hopefully I didn't lose my job. Not at Firehouse. I work at a reactor now. Oh yeah. Damn, it's been a while. <laughs> this is, oh yeah, a lot of stuff's been happening in my life since I last made a closet talk. But anyways, Pantheon. Where do I begin? So first off, we are introduced to two main characters, basically. Our main character, first off, is Maddie. This girl, her dad died. And she's sad, and she's a high school teenager, yada yada, right? And then we meet Caspian, who's like the second main character, the protagonist. And then he's just like an edgy teenager, like he's fucking has parent issues and shit. But like we know that somehow their stories are going to intertwine. And basically the whole idea of Pantheon is that it's a sci-fi show, and it talks about UI, or uploaded intelligence, right? So basically, like, we learned that governments have been like doing experiments on human beings and like scanning the brain and like turn it like lasering it and then turning it into like digital data and uploading it into like a server so that we could have optimized like efficiency and just like have this thing who's basically a human that's like working 24 7 to make money right with the stock market and whatnot so the whole idea about like season one is whether we considered uis as human or not right it's like are these really heat people Right, because if it's you, the exact you, just like in the server, right? But it's like there's always a backup. Like you are never dead, basically. So then that's the whole issue about like her dad, she died or he died, but then we learned that he's actually alive. This is not spoilers, by the way, because I mean like you literally learned this in episode one, right? So it's not spoilers. We learned that her dad's alive and is an upload intelligence. So it becomes a topic of discussion with her, that's her actual dad or not. And then so on and so forth, a lot of stuff happens. And basically like from that point on, I just can't talk about it, otherwise it's spoilers. So here's just like some takes I really want to mention. Like my God, perfect. It really is. Like there's no loophole that's left open. Everything's properly closed and like signed off. Right? Every character in this show has a purpose and like has a good storyline when they're introduced to when they're like over, either like killed or whatever, right? But like it works. It just works. It really works well. And even addresses like political issues. Like, for example, when like a bunch of like technically the UIs take over, right? Because you know, like, if you literally have this access to the entire world database, like, aren't you just going to press a button and cause a nuke to, like, fucking hit some third world country? Basically, yeah, that's what ends up happening. But, like, oh, who does it, right? Uh, so it's not spoilers, technically. But basically, like, the U.S. shuts, like, not the U.S., but, like, the entire world shuts down internet access, right? So, like, we prevent that. And then we just see, like, how, like, the U.S., like, government's being, like, fucking... A bunch of assholes right because they're like old and white but like that's what it's being represented yada yada basically just like a lot of shit and then like there's like even conflict with like a representation of conflict with <laughs> uh palestine and uh oh shit i know this israel oh my god oh yeah like it addresses political situations very realistically every character makes sense it's just very well done right and I swear to God, I was just talking to this about with my roommate, but name me a show that's not good and has a sex scene in it. Think about this. There is no show out there that's bad with a sex scene. 
fucking Bojack Horseman, fucking great. Saul Goodman, fucking great, right? Fucking my roommate brought up like Sonny Boy doesn't have a sex scene. Well, that's not the. I'm, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying like, the, even every good show has a sex scene. Guren Lagan has a sex scene. I mean, it's not explicit, but like we know they fuck. The base, like, ah. Oh. Anyways, yeah, like it's good. It's really good. And I'm explaining this terribly because I'm tired. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. All right, from now on, here's spoilers, okay? So, uh, please, I really want you to watch this uh, series, right? So, like, I don't care if you stop watching here, but if you like watching an Asian dude rant, uh, go for it. Spoiler time. So, the fucking plot changes heavily in, like, season two. So, we went from fucking Maddie fighting Chon- like, what's his name? Chanda? And, like, some Indian dude who, like, ends up trying to, like, nuke- nuke fucking Sacramento, right? And then her dad dies again. But then, that's not even an issue right now. Like, basically, what ends up happening, like, in the end of season two, is the fact that, like, the story went from, oh, like, we need to consider, like, whether upload- like, we need to cure this virus for the UIs that are slowly dying if they're overworked, right? And then it went from that to, oh shit, where am I? Oh, you're in the future where everyone is a UI. And you're like, what? Right? And then like, we just learned that like, basically like the last episode turns into the Terminator. And like, there's like this virus that like the US made called Safe Search. That's like basically just trying to like fucking kill all UIs. Or no, it's trying to destroy all lower life forms, right? Which are UIs because like humans were more prominent when it was made but then like now that everyone was in uploaded intelligence it started like killing humans because they were the inferior race now right and then basically what ends up happening is like fucking maddie becomes god and it's like multiversal and there's like a simulation is happening like she is overwatching the entire world being simulated right all the timelines she makes a server using the power of the fucking sun all right this was the coolest shit i've ever seen like it was so like epic it was so epic right and basically like everything that's happened in this show happened for a purpose like it was like aot level but like aot like, but this, like, no, Pantheon was, like, a more satisfying story than AOT because, like, in the end, everyone didn't die, you know? So, like, you're like, hey, this is a lot happier because people, people died so they don't die kind of thing. Where in AOT, people died because Aaron fucking killed them. Is that spoilers for AOT too? Oh, whatever. So then, like, everything just works. The entire story's closed. And we learned that everything, this entire show, is a fucking time loop. Because if you watch the last scene of the show, is the first scene of the season one. And you're like, oh my fucking god. It was the biggest mindfuck I've had in so long. And it was perfect. Like, how everything, like, oh my god. Everything was written from the start. They, like, the people writing this, they knew exactly where the story was gonna be. How it was gonna go. And it was so well executed and I am just so awestruck by it because like it's like again I'm kind of comparing this to AOT because it is like a similar concept about like how time is linear right it's like connected through a path and like we learned that like AOT Aaron has connection to that path because the attack titan right but and then like similar to Maddie like how she just continues to exist for fucking centuries and eventually she becomes god herself who is connected to like the path so yeah it's very similar in that sense but just more happy because we know what we don't know so the thing is like i like the ending a lot because it's very bittersweet like we don't know if maddie and caspian erase their memories and like go on to live uh, a normal life back on like the server world right or if they just fucking be like hey let's travel the fucking universe since we're practically god now like me me personally i would be like hey i'm god i'm gonna fucking see what else i could do but no no it's fucking so cool sci-fi is so cool so yeah definitely oh definitely give it a watch i god man i'm terrible at explaining stuff please watch this like man if i didn't convince you with the sex scene yes they fuck okay maddie and caspian fuck and it was well-deserved. I just said that. But it's well-deserved. 
fucking Romeo and Juliet law. It was well deserved. Like at first, when like clearly like there was like something gonna happen, I was like, "Fuck, is it gonna work?" But then like I saw how like the story was written, like how their character like development between each other was like properly brought up, like slowly, right? It wasn't just like shot to like "I hate you" to like fucking on the bed. No, it went from like "I hate you" to "Hey, you're kind of cool." To like, hey, don't do that. You're stupid. To fucking fuck. It worked. It worked. Okay. And basically, like everything was like a very happy ending, so on so, and oh, just like the fact everything worked. Everything was well knit, perfect. There's no loopholes. People on the internet are saying how some characters deserve more screen time or like better justice with their character. No, literally every character, like Chandla, Ch Chandla. What the fuck is the Indian dude's name? Chanda. Chanda. That was his name. People on the internet were like, oh, Chanda didn't deserve, like, or have the proper justice he deserved. It's like, no. He's literally, like, the cause of the problem. He was the v initial catalyst to realizing that UIs exist, right? And so, like, shut the fuck up, people, right? And then, like, for, all right, I didn't even mention this, but literally, like, biggest mind fuck, like, in the very beginning is that we learned that Cashmere is a clone. And we're like, whoa, right? But like, I thought that was the craziest I was gonna get. And then we just see fucking se end of season two, and I was clearly wrong. And that's that's rare. <sighs> but no, like everything, everything makes sense. The story's perfect. It really is perfect, in my opinion. Like, I can't see how there was an issue. The only issue I could see people having is the fact of how crazy it gets. But, like, I thought it was a great representation of, like, the exponential increase in technological, like, advancement. So, the fact that it went from, oh, like, we need to fix this virus, to, oh, shit, she just made a server that is powered by the sun. Like, yeah, it works. And I could see how people could get confused with how the timeline works. Because, like, season one... I was confused too. Like season one literally happens in the span of like three days. But like the whole reason why it's kind of confusing is because we follow two different character storylines and see how they intersect. Intersect. So yeah, and then we see the time skip. It's kind of like hard to judge how much time passed between end of season one and two, beginning of season two. So yeah, but like that was like two years. So everyone was legal, okay? Everyone was legal. I, they fucked, but it was legal, right? Anyways, I think that's enough of me ranting. Please watch Pantheon. Pantheon's great. Um, it's been Yuji. Thanks for watching.